What's going on, everybody? Today's video is going to be a follow up video to a video I did about a year, year and a half ago, with a situation out in Missouri where the postal workers for USPS were stealing mail. And of course, it dealt with theft of sports cards. So I did a real quick search today, just trying to see if anything new else was coming about with a lot of these cases. And I ended up finding this article, and I never knew there was any type of resolution done to this. And if I did, I just don't remember talking about it, to be honest. So this came out March, let's say, 4th, 2022. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to read this. A former mail carrier pleaded guilty to stealing 94 sports cards valued at almost $40,000 from the mail in federal court. And that would have been on uh, the past Thursday of the course of this article. Here's a guy's name, postal worker from 18 through 2021. In June 2021, a customer reported that he mailed a Kevin Durant trading card, almost worth two grand, to a recipient in Kansas City, Missouri, but the card never arrived. The sender complained that other mail containing valuable sports cards had gone missing as well. Hmm. You know, it just starts bringing up memories of my stuff that happened uh, this past year. But I'll hit that here towards the end. Investigators caught on to Robinson when four of the missing cards were found at a sports memorabilia store in Gladstone, Missouri. Of course, the surveillance video from the store shows him in his postal uniform offering the cards for sale. We don't have the smartest criminals out there, but they're still criminals. In August 2021, 11 more sports cards were recovered from another memorabilia store in Liberty, Missouri. An additional card was recovered from the store back in Gladstone. Uh, so it also says he was, along with uh, stealing all these cards, he talked about taking people's mail home and destroying it. When he just searched his home, they found 440 pieces of mail. Crazy. Makes you wonder how much he actually destroyed, how much he still, well, we know he at least had 440 pieces still there, so. Wow. Must have really been disgruntled that he just wasn't getting paid or something because just not delivering the mail and that much mail, thinking you're never going to get caught, boy, you're wrong. In total, Robinson stole nearly 100 sports trading cards and was charged with one account of mail theft, which could land him up to five years in federal prison. This is the big thing that I looked at here. According to the audit by the U.S. Postal Service Office of Inspector, Inspector General, so once your claim you know, say if you go to like your local post office, just so everybody understands, you uh, go there, they're going to tell you to go online, file it's a lot quicker. There comes a point to where if you have like multiple mail pieces missing same day, same week, they report all this stuff up to the inspector general. In return, they're supposed to launch an investigation. Now you have like your local, then it goes up the whole way, you know, probably to whoever the top ones are, wherever, you know. But it's the way it's supposed to go through. It can't take a while for decisions because that one person's covering probably a huge area. And if he takes, like, say, a week off to go on vacation, normally it's not somebody to fulfill that role, just from my understanding through my situation. Anyhow, the Post Service received 40,727 mail fraud complaints and 299,020 mail theft complaints between. March 2020 and February 2021, they had determined that 29% of the mail fraud cases and 6% of the mail theft cases were related to COVID. I mean, we still blame COVID on everything out there. I got it. Some people, you know, could go to work, didn't have money, whatever it may be out there. But there's still been, this has been going on way before COVID. It's going to happen way after COVID. It's just out there. And I can tell you guys, just from filling this stuff out, if you do have mail thrown, make sure you have, and it doesn't like get delivered or whatever may be damaged, make sure you put insurance on it. Don't be cheap. Pay the couple bucks to, you know, sometimes packages $40, $50 to insure. But at least you have that insurance. If it doesn't show up, it gets damaged, whatever it may be, you can, you know, file your claim. Now, with USPS, anything Priority Express uh is five thousand and under if you need to go or five thousand you have to go through registered mail which is a very slow process it could take two three weeks to get to somebody it's supposed to be hand carried i forget the limits on so i think it's a couple hundred thousand maybe there wasn't a limit but what i usually do if my stuff is five thousand dollars or more i go to ups and just set it that way 
Now, with the post office, I will say, you don't deal with them anymore on insurance claims. I didn't know that at first. You actually had to go through an outside agency that they buy their insurance through. So all mine, except for one, was approved quickly because I provided receipts of sales because people bought. The, or I bought the card and I mailed it off to them as well. The, uh, the one that didn't was I mailed some cards to DC Sports. Now, I had these cards 5, 10, maybe 15 years, probably even longer. Did all the research up. I had this big old Word document that I submitted to them. Denied. Denied a second time. So on that third denial, it has to go to an outside agency. And I had to prove that I was, uh, what do they call it, an expert in the area to be able to evaluate how much these cards are worth. Granted, I put down closed eBay um, sales onto it. And not just one, unless it was limited, but like five or six. I think I got like 80% roughly of the total value. Was I upset? Yeah. But again, a lot of that stuff I didn't have much into, so at least I got, you know, a good chunk of the money back out of it. Just figure I'd bring that up. Uh, just make sure you guys put insurance on stuff. It'll cover you. If you don't have receipts, it, it's painful. You're going to get denied. You're going to get denied a second time. That third time, I believe it is, it sends it to an outside agency. It takes a couple weeks. Like I said, I still got like 80% back off of it. I don't know how you can get more or get the actual value, I should say, that you, you're claiming it as. I shouldn't say more because it kind of feels like you're uh, skating by the system. But the car's worth 100 bucks, and they only gave me 80 How do I get my $100 for it, basically? All right, everybody. That's it for this video. Take care. I'm out.